hey everybody welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel thank you so so much for choosing me over and over and over and over again i really do appreciate that you guys are here we're doing another unpopular opinions video and this time we're talking about dating yeah 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 this is a dating edition now i'm going to split them yeah one men's edition women's edition dating edition this this edition church edition i'm gonna do all of it i'm ready for it thank you so much for being here if you do enjoy the content on my channel please like this video please also subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more unpopular opinions and you want me to direct it to something specific do let me know in the comments down below this is the last video i'm filming for the day so i'm very excited I'm very excited to film this video and uh, I know you guys love the unpopular opinion segment so please do get it out there even more by liking the video that would really help me so so much we're gonna get into the dating edition of unpopular opinions and I don't I, 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 you know I'm not gonna make that disclaimer you know what I'm gonna say you know that two streets away is where you're gonna I know that's right here we go unpopular opinion okay you're not actually together you're not exclusive you're not together until you actually talk about it until he asks you to be his girlfriend until she asks you to be her girlfriend until they ask you to be their partner you are not together until that conversation happens therefore you are not mutual you are not exclusive to that person you have no right to be angry if you see him at a party go recharge if you see him at a party go news cafe if you see him at a party canoodling and kissing and if you see her canoodling and kissing with somebody else at a party ain't got nothing to do with you no have you had the conversation yet so much eh? <laughs> I wish you wish. Thank you, Pila Jenomaj. Maya, why are you mad? Why are you mad? The problem is that you like to take charge and be like, oh well, because he's talking to me every day, that means we're in no, you are not in an oven. You are not in an oven. That it's that it's when it becomes the problem. Where you take on a role that has not been designated to you. It's long go. That role has not been designated to you. My one so zenzi girlfriend. My one so zenzi boyfriend. Now you're getting upset at the fact that you done seen her at the club with somebody. Now you mad. And this person is holding her waist and kissing her neck. And then, no, no. Legata hunka charge. No, 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 Lala. Baby, no. Mm -hmm. The next unpopular dating opinion is. Please don't come at me with, oh, but the personality matters. His personality really matters. Her personality is what stands up. Yeah. Yeah. Physical attraction is just as important, if not more important, when dating or when in, when in a relationship. Put aside personality and then what? So when our mother Teresa, what must happen? What must happen? I need to be looking at you with that mother Teresa and being like, shit. Who? When are we gonna be alone? I'm trying to get alone with you. I'm trying to get alone with you so that we can do the things that make for the things. You know what I'm saying? Don't come at me and tell me that personal, personal it's, it's a bonus. Especially when you are dating. When you are dating, the first, if not the most important thing, you need to look at that person and be like, who? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, today. Yeah, to, no, no, he could get it. Yep, she could get me. Oh, yeah, personal, personality can come in later. It can come in later, but in the initial stages, uh, Physical attraction is important, if not more important. How did you when they're moving from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say what I say. Now, this one might upset some of you and, you know, two streets, you know, two streets away. The 90-day rule. 
Why? They are not going to have sex with her until after 90 days. They are not going to have sex with them until after 90 days it is BS. I can tell you that right now. The earlier you have the sex, the better. The best. Why are you trying to sit 90 days? Why are you trying to sit 90 days? Love this person. Really get on with this person. Enjoy their company. Enjoy what they bring to the whatever you guys are having, right? This dating, right? That you're having and all of this. And then 90 days later, when shit really hits the fan, it's nothing like what you had thought it would be. It's nothing like what you had expected it to be. <laughs> I can go 90. I can go 90. My 30 days, 90 days. You waited three months. Three months for what? What is the problem? You want to have sex the first night? Have sex the first night. Be mature about it. Do the right thing. How about use protection? Okay, but I don't believe in this concept of 90 days. I genuinely believe that two weeks. Two weeks, baby. <laughs> Two weeks, you want to do it the first night? Not a problem. We meet on Friday, Sunday night. Woo! Crickets, explosives. Hey, do it. Hey, but who's going to tell you what? Who knows anything about your sexual history? No. Another unpopular opinion. It is not necessary. Now, this one I just thought about now. It is not necessary to know about your partner's sexual history. Ungeneap. Why? Ungeneap. It is not necessary for you to know about their sexual history before you. Ungeneap. The only thing that you need to know is are you safe? Are you okay? Sitesti is sharp grand. Why must you know whether they were swinging off chandeliers with Jennifer in Taulele? Yo, Maritaba. Yo, Lerato. Cindy Siwe. Why must you know that they were swinging off chandeliers? It's none of your business. Hi, bye. You will know about that chandelier sooner or later. Mm-hmm. But knowing about the sexual history ain't got nothing to do with you. Nothing. Nothing. Unless they choose to share it with you that, yo, I have a little bit of a, a sex addiction and uh, I had it, but, you know, I'm in therapy. I tell yeah, that's important. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. But to know who he was zwinkering with, with, with a hundred other women before you, or she was zwinkering with men, women, this... That day, hey, 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 it's got nothing to do with you. Get up. Hey. Dating apps. Okay. Dating apps like Tinder, Hinge, Bumpo, uh, let, let's, let's, listen, listen. All of them, these dating apps actually do have good people. The people that you find on there are not just the bottom of the barrel, down and dirty, just unacceptable excuses for human beings or excuses for partners. No. There are good people on dating apps. Aye, 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 aye. They just don't come in the package that you expect them to come in. They just don't come in the package of what you are expecting from a partner or a potential partner or somebody you're going to date. You understand what I'm saying to you? There are actually good people on dating apps. They are just harder to find, honey. Take a sip. Take a sip. He's not through with me. He's not through with me. I'm still here. I'm still going to come for you with this unpopular opinions. Because I can see you love them. Okay? But I'm just telling you. That they are actually good people on dating apps. They just don't come as a scorer. He doesn't come as a buff guy because that's what you're looking for, right? He doesn't come as a buff guy. He doesn't come as somebody who wears Gucci and LV and, and Fabiani and this and that. And, 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 and he doesn't come. No, they don't come like that. They don't come looking like a Coke bottle. She doesn't come at you looking like a Coke bottle with great boobs that aren't saggy and whatever, whatever. No. But you, if you had known and given it a chance, then maybe you'd find them. 
But because when I, you are so steadfast on your narrow-mindedness of what you're looking for, and I said what I said, be mad, I don't care. Okay. Two streets. But if you, because you are so steadfast on what you're looking for, you completely miss them. Completely miss them. Me, 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 me. It's type yeah, when it comes to a man. It's a scorer, man. Yo, 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 yo. The person I'm with right now, it's not a scorer. Can tell you that for free. It's not a scorer, but happens to be one of the best people I've ever been in a relationship with. Hands down. But is he what I'm looking for physically? No. But is he good looking? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me piss off the millennials. All right. Let me piss off the 2000, the 1990 something, right? Y'all people. The 1980, going that way, no, you guys are going to be fine with this. The 1990, 2000, to whatever, going that way, you guys are going to have a problem with this. All right, you ready? Okay. If you're a heterosexual or you're a partner, to, you're gay, you're LBGTQIA+. Listen, I hear it. It is perfectly fine. If you are a femme woman in a lesbian relationship to spoil your stem woman partner in a relationship, it is perfectly fine to spoil your man if you are the woman in a heterosexual relationship. Nothing wrong with it. You cannot be the only one who it's being spoiled. Can't you who is this person who is with you? A holy damn machine. I'm just tired. Is this person not a person as well? Is this person not somebody who would like Uguti Atengelu ice cream? He make flowery. Hmm? That is, that is, for me personally, that is the problem. And you can catch me outside because we have developed this way of thinking that men are the more masculine part person of the relationship is the one who's supposed to be doing all these spoilimentations. Why? I'm so tired, yeah. I would I've been so tired, really tired. What is the problem with you buying your person as something? I can tell you right now for free. I buy my partner many things. Many things. He reciprocates the behavior, yes, but I buy him shit. I bought him Ray Ban glasses just the other day. Because why not? Why must it always be you? Ninga kwa dini neba hambi gong. Ninga kwa di. Just because man tengela ma ba 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 um ace of spades yeah but that's just because they tell oh man this is an important message just because they tengela you a ace of spades or they tengela you a whatever and they buy you uh, stuff from hydraulics and whatever it's reciprocal this thing it's okay to spoil a man it's okay to spoil your partner even though you are the femme and they are the stem it's fine I can't do can't do it to. What the hell we gonna do now? It's perfectly fine. I said what I said. Be mad. <laughs> Making your intentions clear from the beginning is not giving off too much too soon. It's mature. It's grown. It's you stating what's okay, what will work, and what will not work for you. That's fine. This business is a good thing. It's a good thing. Let's just go with it. And then we go, yay! Tell him from the onset. I'm going to be spoiled. I'm going to be spoiled. I'm going to be spoiled. I'm going to Me, I don't get on with McDonald's. I get on with Jamelly. Okay? I get on with Cole. Okay, I get on with marble. Okay, I get on with Blanco. Okay, I get on with the fancy stuff. All right, speak of the, the peasant and he will text me. I get on with all of that stuff. All right, I'm saying so. No, you stating your intentions from the jump. Is not giving away too much too soon. You know how the older generation, our aunts and our moms will be like, no, don't give off too much too soon. You know, just reel the person in. Reel what in? No! This person must know. Me? Me? No, no, not me. 
not me, okay? What the hell we gonna do now? Ooh, y'all gonna be mad at me. Okay. Mm. Which one do I start with? Okay. A first date at the movie is a no-no. First dates at the movies are a no-no. You can come at me and tell me that, yeah, but they're more comfortable, they're more chill, they're more laid back. Where? This isn't high school. I'm not trying to, just because I told you I love Marvel, and you told me you love Marvel, and now suddenly we've got the Avengers that's out. Well, let me take you on a first date to why? No, guys, honestly. At which point are we going to talk? Are you going to use this opportunity where we're in a dark place to frisk me up and maybe get a little kiss? But are we in high school or what? At which point are we going to sit down and talk? I need to talk. I need to hear. I need to hear. I need to see, feel where your EQ is. I need to see who or or do you grow a pinky nail? Which one is it? I need to see these things. I don't want to be taken to a movie for a first day. I don't want. No. Nothing is going to happen. Can you imagine an Avengers movie? It's three hours long. Three hours. Get out of here. Please, man. <laughs> Please, man. This is going to piss some people off, but it's okay. Jealousy in a relationship is healthy. Jealousy is very healthy. Jealousy when dating is healthy. You should feel some type of way if this person is telling you that they're talking to you and other people and whatever, and you like them. You should feel some type of way. If you're in a relationship with somebody, you should feel some type of way when they're telling you about their female colleagues and they're telling you about whatever. I get mad, mad when he tells me that a female colleague said this and said that and told him this. I'm like, bitch, bitch give me her location. Get them fast. <laughs> And he's like, oh, chill, chill, chill. I feel like jealousy in a relationship is healthy. You must show that there's a part of you that just feels like I just want him to talk to me only. I want her to talk to me only. I want them to talk to me only. Why are they talking to other people? Why? I'm all you need. You are me. I am you. That's it. What's yours is mine. What's mine is mine. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I say to my partner. I'm like, what's yours is mine. What's mine is mine. And we're happy. We're in a relationship. So happy. My head. <laughs> ah. Hi. Mm -mm. No. No. Nizo kwata, ne? And it's fine. If you are looking for a relationship without any money, and I own a mali, don't look for the relationship. Please stay single. Please just stay singular. Don't look for a relationship. How do you think this relationship is going to sustain? How do you think this relationship is going to be fun and enjoyable if there is no a money? Because then there is another then there is another thing because a lot of the things that make relationships sustainable over time that make them more enjoyable, that make them more whatever is money. It doesn't matter whether money comes as 50K or whether money comes 500K or whether money comes as 10K. Money is required to make relationships work. So if you are looking for the love of your life and you have found this girl or this guy or this non-binary person and you found them and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna make them mine. Please make sure you have air money. Please make sure you have something that is going to be disposable to you in terms of money that you can use. Otherwise, yeah, 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 just stay single. Pusha smogolo. Pusha smogolo. Obey right. Then look at a relationship. Otherwise, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, please, no. This is going to piss some men off and this is going to make women go, yes, exactly. There are men, even men. So there's, so there's this, there's this whole thing going around that, oh, women always look for men with money these days, and this and that and the other, and this and that and the other. Listen here. There are men who actually want women with money. And they want women with more money than they have. 
Nake khatets. I'm just tired. They want hore mosadi o abena le chalete ho feta them. They want her to have more money. And you know why? Because they want to chow that money. They want to have access to that money. There are men who ask questions like, wait, oh, okay, you bring over this new chick. Oh, okay, who is she? Oh, you're going to introduce me to her. Oh, okay, cool. Does she have money? What car does she drive? What does she do for work? Blah, blah, blah. It's not just women who ask that. Uh-uh. No, no, no. It's not just women. Men ask that too. You better catch me outside there too. The only difference is that women are more outspoken about it. We are just, we're there. Okay, and we deserve to be there. We deserve to speak about our things because we have gone through it, honey. Okay, at this point, we have gone through it so much. We deserve to want what we want and get what we want. But what is not spoken about is the fact that there are men, men who actually want women with money, copious amounts of money, more than what he makes. She wants it. He wants her to drive a nice car. To have a great job so that he can, she can pay for everything. So that she can whatever. It's a thing. A lot of men actually want this. Meanwhile, that time he doesn't work. But he wants a woman who works, who has a money. I said what I said. Be mad. Okay. Okay. This one is going to upset some of y'all. And I'm going to say it. It's my last point because my camera is flashing. It's okay for you to check out other people even when you are in a relationship. You can check out other people. <laughs> are you now blind suddenly because you're in a relationship and now there's something wrong with the fact that you want to check out other people or you want to say, oh my God, that woman is gorgeous. That man is stunning. Oh my God. What is the problem? What is wrong with doing that? What is wrong with doing that? You are allowed to check up. You didn't just enter into a relationship and then suddenly you've gone blind. How born? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just, I don't see anyone except my person. I don't get out of here. And if you're in a solid relationship, this is another unpopular one. If you're in a solid relationship, you can actually say it to your partner in front of them and actually say, oh my God, he's hot. I say that to my dude, all the time. He says it to me. I catch him staring at girls and I'm just like, sir, sir, hello. But I don't really have a problem with it because it's okay. You, your person is not blind now that they're with you. Neither are you blind when you're with them. That's what I say. I say what I say. I say what I say. My camera's about to die. I'm not going to continue with that. I'm not going to charge and continue. Now, nah, I think that's pretty much it. I've mentioned all of them. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, join the family. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over and over again. Until the next unpopular opinions, whatever it may be, list it down below, whatever you'd like me to, to yeah, check on. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so, so much. Love you guys. Sayonara.